what's up, what's up, what's up? It is so beautiful. Oh my god. I love this weather. It's not hot at all. It's breezy. It's like in the 60s. I feel like I'm in the Himalayas, man. I miss the Himalayas. If you guys ever have an opportunity, go to the Himalayas in India. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And if you go, please visit the Taj Mahal. When I was 12, I was there. My mom took me. And I went inside. It was kind of spooky. That's what you call real love, man. <laughs> Anyways, if you don't know, if you know, don't know the story about Taj Mahal, go read up upon it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm enjoying my day off. Went for a nice walk. Had a nice breakfast and a nice uh, dinner already. Didn't have lunch. Just had some dinner. So yeah, you know, self love is so important girls and guys and self love doesn't mean remembering the past it means letting the past go easily because guess what guys God has a plan for you and he loves you so much you go to him when you need something don't go to people people are so fake when I feel somebody fake coming at me I feel immediately nauseated so I just know they're fake mm -hmm. and when I see somebody coming at me like I'm saying if I'm talking to them and I feel like they're good energy I feel peace but if I feel like nervous when I'm talking to them or feel like uneasy I just know that they haven't healed and I also know that they're going through some shit I don't judge them but I just can feel their energy you know and when that happens I know I don't need to be around that person, even though if it's a guy or a girl or a friend, you know what I mean? Because I don't need that. I've healed already, you know? Now it's their turn to heal. And I, I know if somebody has done the work on themselves or not, you know? Because I've done my work, so why should I do yours? That's on you, right? So be, be careful who you hang out with because sometimes people want you to do their work too for them. But you can't pick up your work and their work. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm, I'm talking about the healing work. They need to heal themselves. They must heal themselves. But if you've already healed, congratulations. I'm proud of you. Kudos. Said Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, yeah. The weather is so beautiful. Oh, my God. I love it. The 60s. Yeah. I feel spirits and angels around me today. Well, every day, but today I'm just chilling with them. You know? Life is, what's that line? Life is a bowl of cherries, a bowl of apples. Well, sorry. <laughs> I mean, life is a box of, box of what? Chocolate, right? Sure is. You just don't know what chocolate might turn up. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But yeah, I'm just saying whatever's coming to my mind, yeah. Life is a box of chocolates or some line from that movie. I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you just don't know, right? So enjoy every single day, guys, because you don't know. Enjoy like the today's your last day, you know? Just enjoy. Be happy within yourself because you are beautiful inside out. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not. You are the most beautiful person, whoever I'm talking to, inside out. No matter what anybody says, because you deserve love. Everybody deserves love. Everybody did. Everybody deserves the right love, you know? And when you feel like you're not deserving the right love from your mom, your dad, your siblings, or your kids, or your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, let them go. Mm -hmm. Because you come first. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, like, divorce them because they don't love you, right? You talk to them, like, what's up, you know? Fix it, you know? That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And if they're not fixing it, then you, you know what you need to do. Your soul will tell you what to do because guess what? You live only once. Now, do you want to be the person when you pass away that you wish you did this and you wish you did that and, and you wish you told him this or you wish you told her that and you wish life would have been different? No, you want to be the person when you pass away that I'm happy how I live my life. I'm happy that I got rid of this person or I'm happy that I was with this person or I'm happy that I fixed things up with this person. You understand? That's the person you want to be when you pass away. 
basically, you don't want to be the person when you pass away. You, you, you don't want, I can't even talk. You, you don't want to have any regrets, you know? Live your life as the best as you can. Because guess what? You, I'm talking to you. You are priority to yourself. And once you find your person, whoever that person is, you will find the person eventually you will. And then that person should be your priority. And, and he better make you his priority and you better make him your priority. Because that's how relationship works. It can't be only on one person has to make the other person priority while the other person is not even giving any time to the other person and not making them priority, you know? You know, being in a relationship, it's two-way street. It's never a one-way street, you know? Just saying. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm just saying it because I think it's so important that us ladies and men sometimes think that, you know, we got to do all the work. No. You don't have to do all the work. Both parties have to do the work. You need two people, not only one. And the... and. My last thing that, that I wanted to say in this video was there should only be three people in your relationship. You know, and the third party is Jesus. That's, or your creator, whoever you believe in. You, your person, and Jesus. That's it. Nobody else. No family, no kids. No, it's between you and your person, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why don't let people know your business. Because when people know your business, they make it more worse. Because they, they'll, they'll, you know, give you ideas say, oh, she said this? And then the other person will say, he said this about you? They'll, they'll put toxicity in your mind when you should know who said what, right? And how did you feel about it, right? You should know, right? You should already know. So why are you going to take, why are you going to take somebody else's effing opinion? Why would you do that to yourself? Because that's only going to confuse you for real, you know? Just saying. Love. Oh, my God. I love the weather. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is, like, beautiful. I am enjoying these trees. The best part about my apartment is my balcony. Mm hmm Yep. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a good evening. And uh, remember what I said. It takes two people to, to make a relationship. Never one. Love is a two-way street, never a one-way street. Just saying. Thanks. That was the message.